Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this super cute new Stampin' Bell image called Warm and Fuzzy Penguins. Aren't they cute? Um, I love that this sentiment or this stamp set also comes with the sentiment, then you don't have to search for one. I love that. I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies that I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you like the video, hit the like button, and if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and do that so you'll get a, an update every time I put a new video up. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound Solarite cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so there's no outlining this time, so let's jump right in by coloring our penguins. For those, we are going to use N9, N8, N7, and N6. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my N9. And let's go over here and start on this cute little guy right over here first. And I'm going to give him a little dab of N9 I'm just going to use the very tip of my pen and just barely touch the paper so I don't get it everywhere because that's a pretty small area right there. And then I want to also go ahead and do a little bit here on the side of his body. Then I'm going to grab N8. Let me see if I can get a little closer. There, that looks a little better. Okay, so then I'm going to add just a little dab of my N8 next. I'm going to bring this down next to his body. And then I'm going to add a little dab here on the side of this one. Then I'm going to go with N7. And if you don't use these pins very much, make sure to pop the, the cap off of both sides so that it doesn't spill and make a big mess on your project. And then I want to fill them in with N6, or finish the rest of his wings here, or his flippers, or whatever they're called. that and then let's go over here and let's do these two over here so again I'm going to grab um, N9 and let's start there's one right here where he's upside down on top of the small snowball so he's got a couple little of his little wings showing here so I'm going to do a little bit on that and then on this cute little guy right here let's do a little dab on his forehead and then um, down the back of his body I'm going to bring this color up and around the top of his flipper here. And then I'm going to go with um, N8. So we're going to add a little bit more color. Dab, dab, dab a little bit. Remember, these areas are pretty small, so you want to use just the tip of your pen. And we'll bring this color out. And I'm going to bring the bottom of his body right here up closer to his, the top of his wing. Up. Next we'll go with N7. And I'm going to fill this one in because I don't have any more room. And I'll do a little dabbing over here on this side. And then we'll soften the edge of this. And then we'll fill it in with our N6 the rest of the way. And I'm going to go, i got a couple little streaks over here, so I'm going to take my N6 and lightly dab all the way across his whole body. Oh, and I forgot up here on his head, so let's do this little section right here. Almost left a little patch there. Okay, and then we'll hop over here and we will do the two main um, characters here. So again, we're going to grab um, N9. And I'm going to start down here underneath of his scarf on this side. And I'm going to bring that around over here a little bit. And then where it's leaning down into this other penguin, I'm going to give it a little color. Down here into this little V. And then for her, let's give her a little dab of color over here on the side of her scarf. And then over on this side where she's leaning into him. And for her wing, let's do this back side and along the underside of her scarf. Then 
and we're going to grab N8. And we're going to dab a little bit on that line and just soften that up. That. And we'll do a little bit up here on his head. And a little bit on each side of this cute girl. And then, of course, on her wing. And then we'll add some N7. And we'll go up here. I'm going to go over his little curly cue there for his hair. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this over here on this side. That. And we'll add a little bit there. And a little bit down here on this part of our wing. And then we're going to take N6 and we're going to fill that in. It's a very small area, so you want to be careful with the end of that pen. And her wing. Now, let's do the white parts of our penguins. For that, we're going to use V20, C00, and our colorless blender. I'm going to start over here on this little guy, and I'm going to take my V20, and I'm just going to go underneath of his hat and down the side of this body. And then I'm going to take my C00, and I want to go over that V20, and I'm just going to flick that out a little bit. And then I'm going to go over that edge of the C00 with my colorless blender. And then I'm going to leave all this over here white. And then let's hop over here and we'll do this cute little guy on this upside down dude here. So again, I'm going to grab my V20 first. And let's do upside down guy first. So I'm going to give him a little dab right here on the side. And then we'll do this guy around his beak around the edge of his face and his that little guy on the bottom of his wing and then we'll go with C00 we'll brush right over the top of that V20 and flick away from there and out into our white and then again I'll take the color splendor and I want to just dab the edge of that um, C00 just to soften it a little bit then we're going to go over here and we're going to get these two cuties. So grab V20 again. Let's do a little bit right here where their two are touching. And then right here there's a little space of his body in between the scarf. So I'm going to dab that. And down here where the scarf is touching him down here. And then for her I want to go this way. And then we'll add C00. So again, let's go right over the top of that last V20. And flick out here. I'm going to go ahead and fill this little section in right here. And V20, our C00 is pretty light. So if you get it on his scarf or on his beak or somewhere, I, don't, I didn't worry about that. We're going to color right over the top of it. And then again with your colorless blender, just to soften that edge. If you were worried, you could use your colorless blender now to um, erase it. I think I'll bring her 
out just a little bit more. So I'm going to grab my C00 and I'm just going to flick just a little bit more on her. And then again with my colorless blender. Now let's do their beaks and their feet. So I've, for that we're going to use YR24, Y21, and Y11. I'm going to start up here on this guy. So I'm going to give him a little dab of my YR24 first on this side of his beak and then along the bottom of his foot. And this one has got a little dinky foot, so I'm just going to go ahead and color that one all the way in. Then I'm going to grab Y21. We're going to add a little dab more color. I'm just kind of up and pouncing my pin up and down a little bit. And then my Y11, I'm going to go clear across the entire beak in his foot. And this one here, I'm just going to leave it like that. Then let's hop over here and do these two little guys. So again, I'm going to go with my um, YR24 first. Let's get this foot that's sticking up in the air first. And this cutie's little beak. And then he's got a little bit of his foot showing. And then Y21. And then Y11 to brush it all together. And we'll go over here and get these two guys. So again, go with your YR24. And I'm going to do... This side, and this way, and then for the feet, let's do right underneath of his body. And he's got a little bit of his foot showing here in, in between the scarves. And then we'll get her. And I'll bring it out, because it dips out here in the middle, I'm going to bring it out just a little bit more there in the middle. Then I'm going to go with Y21. color. Brush along the edge of that YR24 to soften it. And then Y11 to fill it the rest of the way in. For these guys, I'm going to take my YR24 and I'm going to go back. And I'm going to add a little bit more over here on their beak. And then I'm going to leave them just like that. Now let's work on the scarf. For that, we're going to use BG09, 18, 57, and 53. I'm going to start with my BG09. And let's do a little dab in here on the inside. And then we're going to do, turn it a little bit here. We're going to do right next to this scarf. And I went ahead and just colored right over the top of all the dots. And then when I got done coloring and put it all together, I added the dots back in with um, my Sharpie white paint pen. And I'm going to give it a little wrinkle right here. And let's go ahead and we'll add some color coming down the front here. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this color around the top. And I'm going to bring it down and come into this little wrinkle right here. And then I'm going to use this wrinkle that's already drawn on there for me. And I'm going to connect this to that. And then let's go ahead and bring this up into here. Add a little bit of shadows in there. And I'm going to get a little dip right here. And for this scarf, let's do underneath here. And then for her scarf on this side, let's go ahead and use, there's a couple little lines here already drawn. So I'm just going to follow that. 
and then she's got a dips in right here so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that line in and then I want to add some color over here next to where it's touching this other scarf okay, then I'm gonna go with BG 18 next I'm gonna add some more color so let's color in this little dab of section that's right inside here and then I want to soften all these lines so we're just going to add some more color on there and then we'll come down on this next one and we're just going to add a little bit more shading in here for her scarf over here. Next we're going to grab BG57. Just going to work our way to the other side. And come down from here, and then let's bring this side up like that. And I'm going to bring a little bit from the back right here. Then I'm going to grab BG53 to fill it in. Let's go along this edge, try not to color outside the lines. We're going to work our way to the other side. this side of her little scarf. And I'm going to go back a second time and just soften it a little bit more. going to take my BG09 and I'm going to go in and add my shadows back in a little bit. Next, let's do the trees. For that, we're going to use G28, YG63, and G43. And I'm going to start with um, G28. Let's go over here and we'll start at this tree. And I'm just going to take my pen and do a couple little stripes down from the top. And then I'm going to go to the next section. And I try to keep my stripes going in the direction that the pine trees needles are going. So if the tree's swooping out here, I want my, my lines to go out like that. And then let's do a little bit in here. Like that. And we'll go up here and do the same thing for this side. And a few streaks up here. And down here a little bit more. And we'll make the 
this section here, part tree. And then I'm going to add some YG63 next. So same thing. I just want to swoop down, add some stripes in there. And then we'll go do this tree over here too. the rest with a G43 and I didn't care that there was still some white space in there because I thought that could be little flakes of snow that had fallen on the tree. Let's do the red on the hats and the heart. For that, we're going to use R29, R17, and R08. I'm going to start with my R29, and let's do this little guy's hat over here first. So I'm going to give him a little dash of red. I'm going to go over here and do my heart. So I'm going to give that a little slash of red. And then this little guy's hat over here, I'm going to give it a little dab of red. Then we're going to go with R17, same thing, you're just going to add a little bit more color. And then this one over here. And then we're going to fill it in with R08. And then I left their hat bands and their little puff on top of their hat white. So that leaves us with a snow. For that, we're going to use B000, B quadruple zero, and our colorless blender. And I'm going to start with my um, B quadruple zero. And I'm going to go in and just add some shadows here along my penguin. And I'm kind of using the little bumps here. These are little lines inside as my guide. And I'm just flicking my pin out there into the snow. Let's do over the top of this one. And then I'm going to come over here. Maybe bring this down a little bit. And let's go next to our scarf. Go this way. And then for the snowball right here, I went and gave that a little bit of color inside too. Then we're going to grab B quadruple zero. I'm going to just add a little bit more color. Might as well start here at the snowball since I stopped there. And we're going over, trying to go over the edges of the last color. And then also add some over the top in the little white spaces if I didn't get all, all the way to the side. But I'm not being very neat. Just kind of brushing my pen back and forth and making some lines in there. And then I'm going to take my colors blender and I'm just going to swoosh over the entire blue area. And this will work best if your colorless blender is full. If it's going dry, it's not going to work very well. So take a second to fill it up and then swoosh right over the top. Snowball. Mm -hmm. 
So there is our warm and fuzzy penguins all colored up. Aren't they cute? And again, here's the finished card. So on my card, I um, added some Ranger Distressed Dry Stickles Glitter and Clear Rock Candy down here to all these little dots up here for the snow. And then I added it down here. I just kind of squiggled my liquid glue pen around down here and then dumped it on and then put the the glitter on there and I put that in your packet so you'll have a little packet of that to sprinkle on and then I also did my sharpie white paint pen on all the little dots for the scarf and for the little sentiment here I stamped it on a, on a rectangle piece and then I cut it out so it's kind of goes around the little letters and kind of squiggly different you can also leave it square that'd be cool so I hope you had fun coloring with me today if you have a question leave me a comment otherwise we'll see you next time have a great day bye